So you're here because you're aiming to pass your CYSA Plus certification, right? Well, you come to the right place. Start right now and don't search any further. Today, I'm sharing how I prepare for the exam along with the materials I use, my experience, and some tips on test day. One more thing. Stick around till the end because I have a special surprise in store for you that you won't want to miss. So, who am I? I am JR, and I've been knee deep in the IT field for over 6 years. Along the way, I completed multiple certifications with CYSA plus the most recent one. But, it's not just about the certs, it's about what I accomplished with them. I'm spearheading critical programs and projects to orchestrating teams towards success. I've been there and done that, and I'm here on YouTube to share with you what I've learned from those experiences. So let's jump right in. CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. From now on, I will refer to it as CYSA. Now, before we dive into the specific with the CYSA exam, for those of you who are new to CompTIA certifications, I recently covered the basics of starting an IT career in my last video, which talks about CompTIA. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend checking it out for a comprehensive review. Now, no kidding, CYSA certification. If you're watching this video, you probably know what this certification is about, but for those, all familiar is a brief overview. What is a CYSA certification according to Google? CompTIA CYSA Plus is an IT workforce certification that applies behavior analytics to networks and devices to prevent, detect, and combat cybersecurity threats. Now that's the official answer, but in essence, it's an intermediate certification that prepares you to identify if you or your organization is being attacked or like other people like call it being hacked. So who's this certification for? This certification is designed for cybersecurity professionals with four years of hands-on experience as an incident response analyst or security operations center analyst. I would not recommend finishing your security plus and jumping into this right away. It will help you if you have some hands-on experience or if you are going to school and have other classes that bridge the gap between both certifications. Now this exam has a maximum of 85 questions and covers the following domains. Security operations, vulnerability management, incident response and management, reporting and communications. To prepare for the CYSA exam, you'll need comprehensive study materials that covers each domain in detail. With so many platforms and materials out there, it can be very daunting to search. So where do we start from here? So before we dive in, have you taken any other CompTIA certs? Let me know below in the comments, what do you have? So I am a student at Western Governors University or WGU, completing a degree in cybersecurity. I am not sure if you have heard of them before, but they are our online university that includes certification with their degrees. I will actually be doing a video on them here soon, so stay tuned for that. So because I am a student with them, I get access to various platforms to prepare for the CYSA. They have a little bit of everything to cover all different type of learners. Whether digital learners, LinkedIn learning, plural side, and Udemy, 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 something like that, have a series of videos with the latest CYSA version. For the readers out there, they offer the Cybex book series for the CYSA certification. This book has also practice tests and quizzes. You can also register online, and there is a website that has almost a thousand questions for you to practice and prepare for the exam. It simulates well the environment of the test, and it has the option for custom quizzes, time exams, and more. You can even divide it by domain, so just practice the areas that you're weak on or for whatever is the best way that suits your needs. In addition, we also get access to CompTIA Certmaster, which is an interactive online learning tool designed specifically for CompTIA certifications. This platform includes quizzes, lessons, flashcard notes, games, and various other tools for different type of learners. It also includes some performance labs to give you a taste of what to expect on the test. These performance lab questions are called performance-based questions or PBQs, and I will give you some more information here shortly, so don't go anywhere. WGU also offers access to CyberVista through the Pluralsight platform. This one is pretty much a bunch of questions for you to practice tests. Think test bank or test simulation. I don't like using the term test bank because people might think it has the answers in there, but it doesn't. So I would like to call it a uh, test simulator. I think that's better. In CyberVista, you have various options for quizzes and tests. It's very similar to the Cybex one. You can do it by domain, or you can further practice with different approaches based on what best fits you. Now, what did I use? Well, I utilized all of these resources except the Udemy one. While Udemy is a great platform that I've been using in the past for other certifications, I felt that I didn't need it based on everything else that I had access to the WGU. I didn't want to stress myself and not have like a system of what I was going to do. 
Anyways, the approach I used was starting with the video series of LinkedIn Learning by Mike Chappell. If you're a visual learner like me, is the best way to go. Watch the series once or twice, depending on your comprehension of the material and previous experiences. Then, supplement your learning with a CyberVista test simulator practice by creating a quiz with all domains, maybe 50 questions or so to see how you're doing in each domain. This way you can see what are your weak areas. Additionally, I use Surfmaster for a variety of learning concepts and to practice the PVQs mentioned earlier. And please, please don't forget to take notes. I use OneNote, but you can use Google Docs or anything else that you're familiar with. Finally, I use the Cybex 1000 questions that I mentioned early, not the book, the online platform. This resource gets an extra thumbs up for me because it's incredibly helpful in preparing for the exam. Talking about thumbs up, if you like this and you think it's helpful, let's hack the algorithm by giving this video a thumbs up. So back to Cybex. The questions are challenging, but will truly prepare you for success. Aim to see all the questions, yes, all the questions, and score in the 80% or more range on the simulations, and this will help you to pass your CYSA exam. But JR, I am not in double to you, and I don't have access to these resources. What can I use? Well, if you don't have access, there are still plenty of options to consider. YouTube has a few courses for CYSA, like the one by Hans IT Academy that has 107 videos, but I can attest to these since I never used them. I recommend getting access to one of the platforms mentioned earlier as they offer a wide range of study materials, including video courses, practice tests, and more. But you might need to purchase access to some of these resources individually. They can still be valuable tools in your exam preparation toolkit. Now, if you're limited to just a couple of resources, my top recommendation would be to prioritize the LinkedIn Learning Videos series by Mike Chappell, pair with a Cybex 1000 question book and the online platform access. These resources, in my opinion, are enough and provide an effective way to prepare for the exam. Remember, stick around to the end because I have a special surprise in store for you. As promised earlier, I prepared some valuable resources that I know it will help you in passing the CYSA. So, don't click away just yet, stay tuned until the very end. Okay, so now, how was texting for the exam? My experience with taking the CYSA exam was a mix of nerves and determination. Like any other CompTIA exam, the process begins with scheduling your exam through peers in view. And you can take it from home or at any approved testing center. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about how to schedule your CompTIA exam with peers in view and navigate the testing process, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to create a detailed video guideline that can help you through it. Now on test day, I'm not gonna lie, I found myself feeling a bit anxious. Despite having multiple certifications under my belt, as I progress through the exam, I encounter questions that challenge my preparation, knowledge, and skills. One strategy I employed was to skip the initial performance-based questions and then tackle them later. This allowed me to focus on multiple choice questions first and manage my time effectively. After completing the multiple choice questions, I went back to address the PBQs. Yes, those ones that we talked about them earlier, I made sure that I read all the instructions carefully and understand the task at hand. It's crucial to allocate enough time for these questions, while also leaving room for reviewing any questions that you flag throughout the exam. Overall, my testing experience was like any other certification exam and yet kind of different. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you know, you know. I stayed calm as I could, manage my time, and thoroughly reach each question before answering to ensure I understand it. English is my second language, as you probably can tell because of my accent, so it's very critical for me that I can understand, so I take my time reading every question very carefully. Now for some tips and tricks based on my experience. Skip the PBQs, just focus on the multiple choice questions. Flag questions for review to revisit them later. Take your time with these PBQs carefully reading the instructions and comprehending the task at hand. Manage your time effectively to ensure that you can review any flat questions before the time runs out. I think implementing these strategies will help you approach the CYSA exam with confidence and increase your chance of success. Now, thank you so much for staying until the end. As a token of appreciation, I've prepared a few valuable resources just for you. My intent is to assist you in your preparation for the exam. So, I created a 50 questions quiz and put together some of my study notes. These notes are the same ones I use to prepare for the exam. They're not on a specific order or group by domains. 
but I did put them together in some way that makes sense and they should help you for the exam. They will be available for download absolutely free. Yes, you heard me right, free. Simply check the description in this video for the link to download them. My only ask from you is to let me know in the comments below if this is helpful for you and subscribe for more content like this. I would like to maybe do a course on CYSA or maybe I can make more practice questions for you all. Something like that for my next video. So thank you once again. Share this with your friends or anybody that you know that is about to take the CYSA exam. Check out my previous video here and stay tuned for more material coming out soon. As always, JR out.